So it's been about five months since I last had a look at one of these figures, and I'm currently having to self-isolate for nine days, so I can't go out and do anything. Sounds like a perfect chance to catch up on this line. So I figured I would have a look at Major Blood, and for the clued up of you out there who know this line, you will spot a glaring error slash uh, custom variation, I suppose you could call it, that being his armor on his shoulders, his chest and his torso there is green, and the original figure came with purple armor. Now when I picked this figure up, it was loose, and I also got it with Cobra Commander, Storm Shadow, and what turned out to be Snake Eyes in the Red Ninja outfit. So the original purple armor was included, but it had like, gone so brittle that as soon as you touched it, it just shattered. It was so strange. I really wish I'd kept it for the purpose of this video, but somewhere along the line, it has been binned. But yeah, just one of those really weird chemical reactions that happens to vintage rubber, I suppose. And thankfully, I managed to do a little bit of research and find out that this exact same armor, only in green, was available with a add-on kit. So I got myself that. I don't think it looks too bad, to be fair. I mean, the purple is quite garish. The green is equally as garish. I'm quite happy with it. Just for size comparison, because that's apparently what toy YouTube reviewers do. God forbid they try to do anything unique or different without being chastised for it. Here he is next to the most recent Major Blood figure that came out, the six inch G.I. Joe classified Major Blood. And you can see just how radically different the tone of these figures is. The 12 inch doll is quite soft and not as threatening or as ugly or as cool as the six inch version. And there he is, absolutely towering over the 3.75 inch line Falcon. So yeah, this was loose, but thankfully it was complete, unless you want to count that shattered, broken, weird, dusty armor plate. Now I think that weird, like, bruise looking thing, just under his uh, elbow there, is part of that armor. It's almost stained the plastic, but for the price I paid, I'm more than happy than keeping this. I mean, if I could replace the armor one day for a proper one, ideally, I would like to, but for now, yeah, this is well cool. This figure keeps a few of the trademark design traits from the 1983 Major Blood. The most notable one that's missing for me is the lack of robot arm. I think if he had like, some kind of mechanical arm, that would have really set this figure a cut above. But yeah, he keeps the eye patch, the mustache, the helmet, the missile backpack. The dog tags are part and parcel of this line, so that's not necessarily unique to him. But I think this is just faithful enough to pull off a figure worthy of major blood and also unique enough to make it just that unique interesting different just having a closer look at some of the detail on here the um the helmet to me seems overly pointy it's almost comically pointy it's a very cool logo sculpted into it though the classic cobra logo with a skull kind of impaled on a dagger the helmet is removable of course reveal on the flat top that a lot of these figures in this line have he has his patch and his handlebar moustache. And rather interestingly, no scar. Most of these figures have a scar somewhere on the face. Major Blood doesn't. There's a good look at the uh, dog tags there. Sebastian Blood, he's a mercenary. The armor holds two silver grenades. I really enjoy the sculpting on these boots with the buckles and the, the pads on them. And the inside of one of the boots has a dagger scabbard. He's got a Cobra logo on his pantaloons, dual thigh holsters, one for his dagger and one for his pistol. The backpack is super detailed and has like a, a hook, like a grapple mountain climbing type gimmick to it. I'm not sure if that works, I'm gonna have a look. And it's attached to the body really awkwardly by these elastic straps. Uh, the elastic on those has perished a bit, so I had a proper nightmare getting those on there. There's a lot of reused parts for this. I think this is the rifle that also comes with grunt and heavy duty. It's a really basic, thin, black plastic rifle. The knife done in silver, the same pistol that I have seen with these figures quite a lot. I think this is unique to Major Blood, this knife with a really odd stubby kind of handle. I can't really figure out how the backpack is meant to work. It's got this massive long cord. All I know is this button here locks it from being pulled. So you click that in, that no longer moves in or out. Um, I don't know whether there's some kind of mechanism that was meant to allow you to use that winch as an actual winch. It'd be pretty cool if that did work. If it does, I cannot figure it out. And there's no other videos on YouTube of this in action, so sorry. I'm really not sure. I can kind of get it to work on like some sort of weird like pulley system, but uh, yeah. I'm almost convinced mine is possibly the wrong way around. Like, I would assume 
the hook part will be on the top, that's on the bottom. Yo, know, I don't know. So me and Trixie are currently editing this video, and she was like, Dave, you've actually got the entire backpack on wrong, you silly human. Kind of embarrassing. Um, the backpack, ever since I've had this, has been on upside down. So I'm going to turn that round and see if that gives me any sort of indication as to how this works. I could have just reshot all this again, but I'm an idiot, and I don't mind admitting that from time to time. I'm not going to lie, I have no idea how I didn't notice that sooner, to be honest, because that clearly is the correct way. Yeah, you can see where the elastic is frayed. Um, not massively looking forward to trying to get this back on them in case I have an accident. Yikes. And there is the backpack on the correct way. It looks so much better that way around. Um, it makes a lot more sense. Like those gas canisters, I'm assuming, look to be in the right place now. And just everything, yeah, it just looks better like that. Not my finest hour, but um, I got there in the end with it, didn't I? And like I say, I could have edited this all out and made myself look more intelligent than I am. But lying is bad and gets you nowhere in life. And here he is with the rest of the figures that I currently own. Still missing a few. I'm kind of always hunting for the ones that I'm still after, but um, they're getting harder and harder, or even impossible to find in the UK. So if I'm going to finish this line, I'm probably going to have to import the rest. Yeah, overall, not my favorite by any means. Um, I think it's that helmet. Like the helmet just doesn't really do a lot for him. It kind of looks like an old school UK policeman helmet and I would have rather have had just a classic almost like what heavy duties were in there at the back I think that's all he needed all he needed really but never mind there's the uh, storm shadow that I got with him I think I do rock and roll next he's a pretty interesting figure still very much enjoying this line just big impressive old-school classic toys great stuff